Hello everyone, Happy New Year, and welcome to our ECMWF Lawrence special. So, essentially, on the first day of each month, we look at the ECM model for the uh, pressure anomalies, the temperature anomalies, and the rainfall anomalies for, for about six weeks. Um, this goes to um, February 12th, so we get into mid-February with this, we cover the hot of winter in this update. So starting off with our week one pressure anomaly, this is from today till next Monday. So you can see low pressure centered just for ourself on average, and uh, that will mean that it's cooler than December was, but with a lot of um, rain and showers around. The temperature anomaly is very slightly below average in those light blue shadings, but look, but look across Scandinavia, brutal, brutal cold, and also into Northwest Russia, absolutely perishingly cold, down to about 10 degrees below average in those darkest shades here. Absolutely perishingly cold. Um, brutal winter there. It's been cold since about like October there, and it's and it's still going on. And here is the precip anomaly. Surprisingly, a bit drier, especially to our west. I think that's down to um, at the weekend we're seeing high pressure coming in from the west of the weekend, I think that's why these um, anomalies are drier than expected. But certainly some wet weather will, will be around, especially in the early part of the week. And you see it is wet for the eastern and southern fringes. Week 2 pressure anomaly is interesting. Blocking rises to our west and north. That should pull the wind into a colder northerly or east direction. Uh, week two temperature anomaly is colder than average um, in those blue shadings, but between about one and three degrees below average. And the rainfall anomaly is dry than average. Um, but notice this, right? On the on our east coast, the the anomaly is a bit le is a bit less extreme, and also on the east coast of the UK, it is about average. So that shows that. Some showers are likely to be coming in on a on an easterly or or northeasterly breeze, so it does show that. Here is the week three pressure anomaly. Okay, even more interesting, we get a deep trough to our east and a ridge to our west. Could it, could it bring a strong wind in fr in from northeast? Temperature anomaly is reducing somewhat, but it's still average to below average. And bear in mind. That as we go along, the um, the uh, you know the certainty goes down, and this and the signal weakens a lot, and the pre anomaly is dry and average to our west slightly, but also wet to our south. And also notice over the North Sea, near the east coast of the UK, it's it's wet, so that does show probably the wind in from the northeast. Week four pressure anomaly shows, okay, probably more of a westerly flow here. We've got probably a trough to our north and a ridge from Canada all the way towards Europe. Uh, temperature anomalies, yeah, are going milder. That probably goes back to westerly weather. And the pre and the precip anomaly is wet to our north, so that probably does show a return to westerly winds. But week five is interesting into early February. Heights to our north through the country will probably bring frost and fog. Then the temperature anomaly is slightly above average. But the model, but one thing is that the model can't can't actually detect frost so well. And the and the uh, rainfall anomaly is dry on average. And week six pressure anomaly interesting blocking to our north, trough to our east, cold winds possibly from northeast. Temperature anomaly is slightly above average, but I don't think that that would be the case based on that anomaly. And the rainfall anomaly is a bit dry for our north and west. Again, you can see this green splodge in the North Sea, probably showing convection as the, as cold winds flow over the North Sea. So that's, so again, thanks for watching everyone. Happy New Year. Obviously, beyond week one is all very much uncertain, especially with these cold charts here. Um, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty with this, 
So thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you later on, and bye for now.